Raise your hand if you want to talk about digital planners today because you guys know that it's one of my favorite, 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 favorite things to talk and teach about. And today I'm going to address one of your most commonly asked questions and that is how do you use stickers in a digital planner? Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica Stansberry. If you are new here, I'm here to help you live a more productive, more successful, more enjoyable life. And if that sounds like something you want, hit the subscribe button because I don't want you to miss any other fun tips and tricks like this one with me every single week. And if you have been hiding under a rock and don't know that digital planning is number one a thing but is also a thing that I love entirely too much, then here you go. Digital planning is something that I discovered several months ago and I actually have uh, one of my most popular videos this year has been about digital planners. So if you need to learn more, go check that out. I'll link it above, but it is so much fun because it's all the fun of a paper planner in a digital format. And it's one of the funnest things that I've stumbled upon in a really long time. And you guys are loving it too. So in a lot of digital planners, and I know for sure in mine, which you can find at jessicastansberry.com forward slash digiplan, it's actually the one that I'll be using in this tutorial too. But in digital planners, there are oftentimes stickers that you can use. And there's even stickers that people sell that you can buy and use in your digital planner. So even if you have my digital planner and you buy someone else's stickers, you can use them in my planner. So stickers are really fun because they literally work like stickers. So you can have like, for me, for instance, if I want to have a sticker that says like filming day or whatever because I'm on YouTube, I can have that sticker and I can use it and move it over to the day on my planner when I want to be filming. So they're super fun, just like they are on a paper planner. But I also know that they can be confusing and complicated to use, especially if you're trying to copy stickers from a planner that weren't originally in that planner. So today I'm going to show you a couple of different ways on how to use stickers because sometimes they work differently based on how the person created them. And I'm going to show you how to use them in GoodNotes, but it's going to be similar in whatever app that you're using to use the planner. So let's hop on over to the iPad and I'm going to show you that now. All right, so if you have your planner open and there are stickers built into your planner and you used a zip file to put it into GoodNotes, then the stickers are optimized for GoodNotes. So here's how you'll use that. So you'll go and you'll find your stickers. Mine are on this page here. And let's say I want to use the to do sticker. What I'm going to do is go grab the lasso tool up here at the top and then I'm going to kind of make a rough draw around it. It doesn't have to be perfect. The other thing you want to note here too is that you don't want to grab any stickers that are near it. So you don't want this touching any of the other stickers because then it GoodNotes will think you want to copy both of them. So that could, I circled around to do, but I could have easily just kind of done in the middle of to do or like a box like that. It doesn't matter as long as you're just getting that one sticker. So do the little lasso tool around it and then you hold down and you hit copy. Then you want to go back to, you want to grab your little pencil tool and you want to go back to wherever you want to put it. So let's say I want to put it on my daily planner here. You're going to hold down until you get that box and hit paste. And now you can resize it if you want to, do whatever you want to, drag it around. You can copy it from here and make another one, however you want to do that. Now, if you saw on that last screen, there's also an option that's take a screenshot. So that's an option as well. So if you go over here, back to your stickers, and you, whoops, and you use the lasso tool and you say, I want this sticker, you can click on it and do take a screenshot and it's going to show you what the screenshot looks like and you can choose where you want to put that. So, okay, I want to put that in my photos or just like save image. That way you can use it somewhere else. So then, okay, let's go back to where I want to paste it and then I'm going to click and hold and hit image or you can go up here to your menu, sorry, and you can insert an image from here. So either one of those ways will work, but I'm just going to hold down and hit 
image. Then I'm going to go to photos. All photos is fine. Choose the screenshot that I want to put in. And there we go. So super, super easy. Now, if you are using stickers that are just on a PDF, you just imported them into the GoodNotes app on a PDF, then you're going to want to use the screenshot option. More than likely, they weren't built for GoodNotes specifically, so they won't be able to do that, um, that copy and paste as easy because you'll have to have it exactly perfect and it won't work as well. So you'll want to do the screenshot option in those instances. And then if it's built into GoodNotes, even if there's stickers that like aren't in the planner, then you can um, do the option that I talked about first. So just to give you like a little tour around this planner, if you haven't seen it before, it's got all the months. Here's January. Um, we are in May. So here's May. And then you can actually write down some things like if I wanted to write down field day for my kids I could write that down here zoom in zoom out place stickers everything you want to do can go here so I can that other one was already still saved in my thing so I can paste it in here as big or as small as I want to and that's it so that's how you use stickers in your digital planner or in any kind of digital notebook in GoodNotes or any other app and if for some reason neither of these options work for you, then definitely let me know in the comments below. I hope that was so much fun for you. I love, love, love this. I think it's like one of the best things to happen since sliced bread that we can have this kind of accessibility at our fingertips and be able to have fun with it. So if you want to get your hands on the planner that I was using in the tutorial, again, that's the one I created and you can go to jessicastansberry.com forward slash digiplan. What's really fun about this planner is that I've created two versions. One is for the standard user. So it doesn't matter if you're a teacher, a stay-at-home mom, a corporate professional, a student, whatever, you can use that one. And then there's a secondary edition that is specifically for content creators and business owners. So you can get your hands on either one of those. They all have the stickers. They all have different stickers. And yeah, go check that out. And until next time, bye y'all.